All right, students, today we're going to learn how to use the microscope. It's very important because the microscope is an expensive piece of equipment. Um, very soon, on Monday, you're going to have a microscope quiz, and in order to use this very expensive piece of equipment, you're going to have to pass the quiz with an 80. It's very important for you to learn this, and also it's important to take care of the equipment. Okay? So, um, I have put on the board the safety for this unit. I'm going to make it more in view for you. Let me get that ready. Back it up just a smidge. There you go. All right, so students, you can fill out your microscope safety information as we go. The answers are up here, and I'll be going over them and showing you how to use the microscope. So, this is a microscope. Ooh, ah. Your turn. Ooh, ah. It's amazing. Okay, so it has a plug. Some of them use batteries, and some of them use plugs. The one I'm holding today obviously uses a plug, so you have to watch out for the cord. It gets tangled on something, and then you walk away. Boom! Something really expensive is going to fall on the ground. Okay, so be very careful. So I'm going to go ahead and set it down, and I'm going to plug it in. It has an on-off switch, so it's not going to turn on automatically. Okay? So the first thing is, how do you carry the microscope? You use one hand on the arm and one hand on the base, and you always carry it like that. So the arm is this part, and the base is this part. One hand goes on the arm, nice and, nice and tight. The other hand sits flat, and it sits on top of it. There's one more part, you need to hold it close to your body. You're not serving drinks at a restaurant. You're holding a microscope and keeping it safe. So, hold it this way. Can I see you please try that? Everyone, face, arm, close to body. All right, great job. All right, the second thing you need to know is set the microscope six inches from the edge of the lab table. So, after you carry it and you come to the table, you wanna look down. If you set it like this, you're putting it at risk. Okay, so you want to make sure, you can use your hand to measure six inches. It might not be perfect six inches, but it's just for safety. So a little bit in and a little bit in on the other side. While you're using it, you might be like, I can't see, it's too far away. So you can bring it close to yourself temporarily and then push it back for safety. Does that make sense, guys? Okay, so as usual, take care of any equipment in science, but this one's really important. Step three. Clean the lens with lens paper only. So um, the glass on the microscope is very important. It's delicate. It's a fine glass so that you can see really well. If you use your t-shirt or your finger or your backpack or some piece of cloth, there's going to be little pieces of grit in it. Then when you rub them on there, guess what will happen to your delicate glass? It'll get scratched up. Then you go to look in your microscope and guess what you're going to magnify? hundreds of scratches and that'll interfere with your picture and you won't be able to see the details on the slide because what you'll see is scratches. Does that make sense? Okay, so this is lens paper. It's kind of white like wax paper, but it has a special texture that will not scratch the glass. So what you do is you just get a little piece. See how thin it is? And you clean off by rubbing don't let your finger touch it, though, because your fingerprints will also stay on the glass, and then when you look through, you'll see fingerprints magnified. So take it, rub it on the part you're cleaning. Could be here on the eyepiece. Could be on the objective lens tip. It could be on the glass on the stage. And it usually wouldn't be, but it could be underneath as well. Okay? Nobody usually touches down there. So six inches from the edge, nice and clean. We're good to go. Okay? What are you never going to use? T-shirt, licking your thumb and wiping it off. That's never going to happen. If I see that, I might have a science teacher breakdown. Okay? So, lens paper. All right, next thing. There's a couple of rules for how to focus. I'm going to go over them, then I'm going to show you them. So, you always focus on low power objective lens first. If you try to use the higher power first, it's really hard to find the object. That's because the object is microscopic. It's tiny. That's the point of the microscope, right? So if you go and you're already on the detailed searcher, then you're going to be looking past it to the right, past it to the left, and you'll have no idea where it is. So you start with the one that's a little farther back. It gives you a wider view. That way you can find it. So um, what you'll do is you'll find a slide. A slide is a tiny piece of glass, very breakable. It's glass, so if it breaks, it gets a little sharp edge. It can cut you pretty easy. These slides have been prepared ahead of time. We're not making them. They are um, 
different objects. You'll get to see a bunch of stuff. Um, but it's very tiny. It's dyed. Before you put it on the stage, you should look for the object by looking up at something white or something light and look for the little dyed object. Remember that it's microscopic, so it's tiny. If you don't do that and you put the slide on, the object might not go over the hole, and then when you go to look for it, you won't be able to find it. So you want to make sure it lines up right with the hole. So you take it, you put it under the little clips. They're called stage clips. You have to lift them a little bit. Make sure your little object goes right in the blank spot where there's a piece of glass. It's kind of hard to see. There we go. Boom. So um, I haven't focused it, so I won't be able to see the image well. But when I look in, I should see a blobby out of focus something. It was blue on the slide, so it should be blue when I look in. Now, it isn't on. There's an on switch right here or maybe somewhere else on your microscope. It's really easy to turn the light on. So some microscopes have mirrors and some have lights. Um, ancient microscopes were all mirrors because there was no electricity back then. But today, we're really lucky because it's a lot easier to use a light bulb. Boom. That's it. It's on. Did it turn on? Yeah. That would have been embarrassing. Okay. So it's on. It's away from the edge, the slide is in place, and I'm good to go. Now I need to make sure I'm on low power. Low power is the short one. So you take the nose piece. I like to pretend the microscope's a face. The nose piece is right where your nose would be, okay? So the nose piece swivels. You see that? When you swivel it, you need to make sure you hear that little click. Did y'all hear that click? Mm -hmm. So I want everyone to be quiet so maybe, just maybe, the video can hear the click. Okay, are you ready? Real quiet. Can you hear it? Okay. If you don't hear that click, that means that it's not set on either one. Then when you go to look, you'll see blackness because the light can't pass through. So if you ever look in and you can't see, something is blocking it. This is one of the things it could be. So your lowest power is your shortest one. As I said before, you always start there. So it's on its low power objective. It's clicked into place. The light is on. It's six inches from the edge. My checklist in my mind is going well. Does it make sense? Okay. Now, um, in order to view the object, this is where we have to talk about moving the stage up and down. Sometimes the stage is the moving part, and sometimes this part, the, the nose piece, moves up and down. In our microscopes, I'm pretty sure it's all the stage. I'm going to show you right now how to move it. You always start with the big knob. So when I turn it, you'll notice it goes up and down. Up all the way, down all the way. Up all the way, down all the way. It may not seem like much, but it doesn't need to be much because we are on the microscopic level, super tiny. So to change the focus, you only have to move a tiny bit, okay? So it needs to start all the way raised. You'll notice I didn't raise it with my eye on the eyepiece because when you raise it, it can hit the objective lens and that can break the lens, it can break the glass, and it usually always breaks the slide. We only have a limited number of slides. If you break them, your group just might not have one. So please be very careful. When you raise the stage, you take your eye away and look from the side. I've got it all the way raised, so now I'm ready to do the focusing. So that's when I, you do the next step, which is move the course adjustment knob away to avoid crashing the stage. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. Put my eye on. This is a one view piece looker. I'm not getting very good lighting, so maybe something's not set. Okay, there we go. Um, when I looked, it looked too black, like not any lights coming through. So in my mind, I'm like, what's wrong, okay? In order to show you, I'm gonna remove the slide. So there's this thing under the stage. It looks like a big disc. In fact, it looks just like a hand pencil sharpener, how you can turn it and there's all the different size holes for the right pencil, does that make sense? It has exactly the same thing, but it's not for a pencil, it's for light. Too much light and the picture's too bright. Not enough light and the picture's too dim. So you need that perfect amount of light. So I'm looking and it was set in the middle. No light was going through, so that's why it looked black. So I'm going to go and I'm going to set it to a medium-sized hole. I heard it click. I'm looking and the light can be seen through it. So that means it's good to go. All right. Put it back safely. Now that it's stable, I can put the slide back on. I'm all the way raised. Now I'm pretty ready to get it to work. Okay? So I put my eye on. Now I can see a little blue object. It's not right in the middle, so I'm going to move the slide a little bit until it gets right in the middle. It's really weird on the microscope. When you want things to go this way, you have to push them that way. When you want things to go right, you have to push them left. If you want things to go left, you have to push them right. Who knows why that happens? It has to do with some kind of optical thing. 
something you would already know about. Josh, what do you know? It kind of is an optical illusion. Why is it happening? Why, when I push right, would it go left in my picture? The glass. Something to do with the glass, Lauren? Um, maybe because it's magnified. It is about magnification. Oh. It is about magnification. Jack? It's a mirror, so that it's opposite every time. Like, it's kind of like, have you ever looked at yourself in a spoon? Mm -hmm. What do you look like in a spoon? Well. And that's because the images flip. So if it's a flower, right, and you look through a lens, then this part goes right there, that part goes right there, and you end up looking like the flower is upside down, but it's really not. So when you're looking at the image and it's looking flipped, you think you need to do one thing, but you actually need to do the opposite. And when you go and you use the microscope, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's kind of weird. It'll trip you out. You'll be like, I want it to go right, and when I push right, it goes left. So it's because it's a flipped image. Does that make sense? You're totally going to freak out about it when you use it. All right, so my image is in the middle. I take my big knob, and I start to back up. I'm backing up, I'm backing up, I'm backing up, I'm backing up. Can you see the stage slowly moving down? You do it super slow, like, it's like a snail. Okay, so as it backs up, the image goes from a little bit blurry to clearer and clearer and clearer. When it gets really close to clear, then I'm ready to stop the fat knob, the coarse adjustment knob, and switch to the little knob called the fine adjustment knob. This one puts the finishing touches. On the fine knob, it doesn't move it very much, so you can move it forward or back without destroying any slide. Does that make sense? So when we handle the little knob, now I can go forward or back till it's clear. Ooh, it's a pretty cell. Okay? Way to go, me! Okay, so now, oh, thank you, thank you, I'll take the applause. Okay. You know, it's so difficult. Okay. You can look through it in the lab. You've got to pass the quiz first, okay? I know you're excited, but I can't just hand over this expensive equipment before you're trained, Joshua. Okay, so um, we're going to switch to high power. You're going to take your eye off, and you're going to watch from the side, because the next objective lens is longer. So when I'm switching, there's a risk that it'll hit. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Holding it up. Nose piece is this piece. Nose piece. And you're going to switch it to the, to the longer one. We have three choices here. I'm going to the 10 times power. I'm not going all the way to 40 yet. Okay? So, again, I'm going to listen really close. Make sure it clicks into place. It's in. Did you hear it? It's easy to feel, too. If you don't pay attention, though, it's easy to pass it as well. So now I should be closer. But I changed the distance between the eyepiece and the objective, so it's not going to be in focus anymore. It should still be there, but it won't be clear. So I put my eye on. I don't see anything really, really clear, so I kind of need to see if it's still there. I'm going to take my knob. Can I just go forward and get close again? No. No, I can only back up. So I'm going to back up and see if it's still there. Back up, back up. Oh, and now it's in focus really well. So I don't need to do anything. Okay? I can see it. I can draw it. I can take observations. However, what if I backed up and I never could find it? Then I'll need to take my eye away, look from the side, and move the stage all the way up again. Okay, now it's up all the way. Now I can put my eye back on and start backing up again until I see it. Oh, there it is again. Let's try the fine knob and see if I can make it any better in focus. Looks great. I'm going to take my observations. Does that make sense? Now I want to switch to the bigger power. What do I do? Take my eye away and look to the side, swivel to the bigger knob. Careful, careful, listen for the click. It's in place. Now I should be able to find it. Can I go forward with the course adjustment knob? Never. So you back up. Oh, I passed the spot where it's in focus. Can I just put my eye on and go forward again? I have to take my eye off, look from the side, raise it all the way up. When you're on the high focus, the high focus lens, it gets so close it can touch. So this is when it's really important to make sure you're not slamming it into it. One slam, it's hard metal. It'll break the slide, okay? So then I just back up until it comes into focus. Ooh, and now I'm really, really close. It's pretty amazing, okay? You excited to look? It's going to be cool. Okay, so... Um, when you're using the highest power, they recommend you only use the tiny knob because now you're so close that this knob moves it too much, okay? 
So you may have to figure out which one works for you when you're in this situation, but always if you're gonna move closer, you take your eye away and make sure it doesn't crash. That is the most important thing. Think you can handle that? Yes. I believe in you. Okay, the last thing, it's easy to forget, but it's what causes the microscopes to run out of power and the lights to burn out. So make sure that you put it back on low power by turning the nose piece to the short one, like that. Then make sure that the stage or body is all the way back where it goes. So swivel that. Last step, turn off the light. If you're packing up for the end of the day, you unplug it and you wrap it around it like this. Usually a microscope has a nice cover so that dust doesn't get on the lenses and you have to clean it every time you use it. So keep it clean and you won't have to do that. So any questions on how to use the microscope? Yes, ma'am. Um, so, 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 well, so for the big, big lens, if you put, push it just a tiny bit where it's just nearly touching, it, it will it break. If they touch and too hard, Courtney, if they will break. Just like if you clink two pieces of glasses together, clink too hard, they'll shatter. It's glass on both parts. It's glass on the upper lens, and it's glass on the lower lens, and it's a glass slide in between. There's a lot of stuff that's delicate right there. So you just want to be as slow moving and gentle as you can, and you never want to move the objects toward each other unless your eye is looking from the side. Okay? Anybody else? Okay, that concludes our information about the safety on the microscope. Thank you for being my filmer, and class, thank you. Y'all want to give yourself a round of applause? Amazing.